Hello and welcome. My name is Jackson Cho and this is my Montana Grizz Dynasty on my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to bring you all another video. I've had to work a lot and try and pick up some shifts, but I've really been working hard to improve my YouTube channel, the way I edit my videos. So thank you all for watching the previous videos. And if you're new to the channel, go check out the playlist. You can see all the other videos and some of the recruiting we've done to lead up to this point. We're going to jump right into this game. But first, let me tell you about the Reddit community I created for you guys. If you are subscribed to the channel, then just click the little Reddit link up at the top of the channel. I also have a community post where you can find the link to the Reddit community and you just want to join the Red Sea. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because that's the only rule of the community is that you have to be a subscriber, all right? On there, I also have the stats that are on X or Twitter. I made a thread for all the stats for each game and they're now on Reddit. So I did make a Instagram thread, but that's mostly for people to see and be like, oh, okay, he's doing videos. Let me check and click on that. I've done a lot to kind of advertise my stuff. I'm also building a, I've kind of already made it, so you can join it if you want, but it's under construction, but it's a Discord community as well. So I made a Reddit and a Discord, and I've made a couple threads for the stats for this dynasty only, and I'll do some stats for other things too. I'm also live streaming now. If you haven't seen any of my live streams, we're getting to the final four of our 12 team playoff using dynasty tool in this game and it's been going pretty good so we're going to be playing lsu versus penn state and i'm going to be playing as florida state against michigan i'm getting better at live streaming too so i did put timestamps in those videos so if you don't want to watch the whole live stream you can just jump straight to the kickoff of each game but all of the live streams i'm pretty sure are two games long and there's five live streams that i've done so this will be the sixth one coming up. I'm going to be streaming Thursday, February 15th, 5.30 Central Standard Time. So if you want to watch live, tune in then. And if you can't watch live, it's okay. They're all on video on demand on my channel. So go check that out. But I must quit rambling and we're going to jump into this Colorado State game. And I'm going to fire my guys up, show you all the uniforms. And I will see y'all on the field. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The altitude not the only thing that's elevated, so too the intensity for this great matchup in the Mountain West. Alright guys, so here we are in game, and I just wanted to show you all this opening kickoff. It's a little bit of a different angle, but you'll see why. Watch our kicker here, sends it straight up in the air. Coffin corner kickoff to start the game. Don't even give him a chance. Watch this. Watch where the ball is. This could, this was so close to being a penalty and out of bounds. And they get the ball with a really good field position. But now we get that touchback. You see the ball just crossing right there. What an opening kick. So after that awesome kickoff, they throw a pick on their first drive, and we missed the hole there with the running back, but Gilman's a tank, and he's just going to bulldoze his way to the five-yard line. So we're just going to stick with him right here. We're just going to run this thing in the end zone if we can. Spin move. He got a face mask, so if he didn't get the first, he will with that penalty. Yep. Half the distance to the goal. Except that, we're on the one. So with that penalty, that lets us... Quarterback sneak it, do a little Montana special. We could not ask for a better start as they have thrown another interception and we're going to take it on the ground with Gilman there. He could have bounced it to the outside, but he gets caught up. But since we've done nothing but run the ball this game, we can hit him with a little play action right here. I wanted Racanelli, but we're just going to take the yards we can get on the ground. And now is where we can kind of get McDowell some Heisman stats Pat it up here, and we got Fonts for the touchdown. He strikes. His first pass of the game goes for a touchdown. His first rush of the game goes for a touchdown. Colorado's offense has started with a 
Interception, an interception, and then they just had to punt the ball away there. We're going to try and give it to Bridget on the end around. I've really been trying to get a touchdown with him untouched with the end around so he can just go. And this, oh, I'm, oh, we got him. Bergen makes a great play, adjusts to the ball, and he's got a 40-yard reception. Wow. I thought I messed it up there when I took control of him. I thought I ran him off his route, but he ran right under the ball and got more yards than he probably would have if I would have just let him catch it. That was a huge play. Now they're going to think we're going to run it. If we can hit Fonts over the middle. It's not Fonts. It's Ostimo. We can't get him. It's all right. All right, we got lucky there. We're going to try and run the ball again, get back to running it out of... Out from under center, and Gilman has a nice lane. We're gonna keep that going for the rest of this game. We're gonna try and put both of our backs in here and see if we can find Fonts wide booty ass open over the middle. Let's go, that's what we like to see. So Colorado State is finally on the board. They got a field goal with their drive last. And we're gonna take McDowell around the edge and he's got room. McDowell has a nice rush. We're gonna go back to leaning on our run game. I want Danik over here. Come on, Bo. Get to the right. And we want you to block out here on the edge. And he just can't get in anybody's way. That's the first negative rush for Eli, though, so we're good. Now, it's second and long. We could run a run play and just try and get some yards, but we may turn this pass play into a run play if nobody's open. It looks like that's what we're going to have to do. McDowell has room, and we got a whole first down out of it. Let's go. All right, we're going to bring both of our backs out here. We're going to do this play action, see if we can get the ball out pretty quick. We got him. Touchdown. Bergen again with a big touchdown this time. His last one went for 45. This one's 44, but he gets a touchdown to go with it. Let's go. And Clifton McDowell has four touchdowns on the day. McDowell's three touchdowns through the air and his one on the ground has the Grizz up 28 to 3. And a nice gain for Gilman, as long as we can get six. We're going to go back to this read option, but we're going to keep it on the ground. And it looks like we're going to have room for McDowell again. McDowell has more room. He can't break those last two tackles, though. And he's only going to get 17. I want to turn this one into a play action. See if we can get... Oh, this is going to be a bad play. We're just going to throw it away, make the smart decision. All right, I wanted to see if they could give us a gun run, but it's not going to happen. We're just going to run this simple pass play. Play action. We got Bergen open. No, it's White. Six looks like a five. Elon White gets his first reception of the day. We can throw this thing again if we want to. We're not going to run that same exact play, though. We're going to throw it to our tight end, actually. And it's almost picked. Probably should have put some air up under it. We're going to get back to running this football here. And I like it to the left side, actually. We're going to move our tight end Schaefer over to. Hopefully nobody goes with him. All right. This should be a touchdown. Everybody blocks, does their job. Gilman just couldn't weave his way through traffic, but at least we have a third and short now. Four half. We're okay taking our field goal, but we're not going to kick a field goal. We're going to try and run it in. We just couldn't get to the end zone on that play. So we're going to get on the ball here. Go no huddle. And now we're going to run this jet sweep. We can get Fonts another touchdown. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Let's go with this. We're going to do Keelan White with a slant. Fonts with a zig. Schaefer right here, and then... Bergen going over the back of the end zone. We got our guy. Opens up, and Keelan White has his first touchdown of the day. Let's go. All right, so we got 30 seconds to go up 42 to 3. Let's see. We're going to run this, and we got our guy. I think he has another touchdown. Fonts runs. Or no, it's White runs under it. Keelan White breaks a tackle. Keelan White is all the way down to the... That looks like the 13-yard line, but I think it's going to put us at the 15, is what he said. We're going to get on the ball, get on the ball, try and punch it in one more time. We can go to Keelan White again with their... I like this, but Virgin's over there if nobody's open. It's not Keelan. It's Bergen. Almost threw a pick. At least the clock stopped, so we have three timeouts. All right, we can run the ball here, but we're going to run a pass play. We just can't take too much time. It's nobody. He's gonna try and Throw it away. Throw it away. Just Maybe it's intentional away. grounding. No, it's not. Okay, good. All right, two for two on third downs. Let's see what we got here. I'm cool with throwing this thing to Simpson if he's open. Deck is in there. We got some backups. Get Rack and Nelly one. Got him. 
No, we didn't throw it high enough. At least it wasn't picked. We have one more chance. All right, so we're going to try and get him another touchdown here before half. Got Keelan White running the out route. We got Bergen right there. It's either going to be Keelan White or Schaefer. Those are our only two targets here. No, oh, we're running. Oh, I threw it to the wrong guy. We had Keelan so open. But the good news is we get the ball back at half. We took the opening kickoff of the second half. So now we got to run with Clifton for four yards. Let's see what we can do here. Run it with Bergen again. I don't think this is going to be it. It's worth a shot. Oh, I wanted to get around the edge so bad and just skirt down that sidelines. And this is the play that we could have scored a touchdown with. Oh, and Schaefer's got it. Schaefer's down the sideline to the 30. He's got 36 on the play. Heisman performance for McDowell. Padding stats, much like Jaden Daniels did this year. Come on. Oh, come on, that should be P.I. Just my bias. A good run from Gilman can get us back into this groove that we were in. All right, now a throw to Gilman would be insane, especially if it goes for a touchdown. Got him. No, it's Ostomo, and it's intercepted. No. Oh, trying too much. They scored a touchdown, and it's because of my mistake down there. I threw a pick. Got a little greedy. We got a big lead. We didn't need that touchdown, but really just trying to distribute the ball to all our guys. We got three touchdowns with three different receivers, and we were trying to get a touchdown through the air with our running back. So since that didn't work, we're going to try and get a touchdown with our running back on the ground. We're still running good, even though that wasn't a great play. So we'll run it again. And Ostomo has nothing going there either. It's all right. And this will bring us to the end of the third quarter. But first, we got to show you all some Jason White. Jason White is our punter. He's a beast. And he gets down to the 45. Let's go. Jinx, Brad, you owe me a soda. All right, we got both of our backs out here. Let's try and run it. We got it to Gilman. Trying to weave his way to for a first down, but he does get 10. And why not run it again? I'm going to run it one more time with the big fella. Gilman, powering his way over that Mountain West logo. Now we're going to bring in Ostomo here. And it looks like they're going to be ready for this read option, so we're going to go play action instead. Oh, and I tried to make a little Johnny Manziel play, but he got tripped up in the pocket. It's okay. All right, so we got Ostomo in here. We're going to hand it off to him. And we just couldn't get away from the first defender. But we will kick a field goal here. All right, show you all some more of my kicking skills, even though it looks like we may miss this one. All right, this is going to be a harder one. We hit all of it. Is it far enough? It is. We got it through. So the Grizz kicker finally gets a field goal. I don't know if that's his only one on the season. We've been going for it a lot on fourth down. But regardless, we got... A studio update here with UCLA and Arkansas. It looks like UCLA going to get that dub. They could crack the top 12. And that would be a pretty fun little playoff matchup. If we got matched up against the Bruins. Grizz Bruins action. We got our backups in. Our backup quarterbacks in there. See if Ayat can get a first down for us. I heard y'all on Twitter saying that you want to see some backups in there. We can sling it out here. We're going to let him throw the ball. He's got his guy touchdown. Oh, no, he can't throw it far enough. But Deck has it. Makes a great adjustment. We got X Harris. I want to see X play. Let's see what X got. What do you got for us, X? Run fonts. Get everybody away. And I think we got our guy. Come on. And Ostomo has all day to run. A big gaping hole. Opening up in the middle of the field for him. All right, we got X Harris in here now. I'm going to give him the ball. X Harris. That man Xavier gets a nice nine-yard run for us. We got Ostomo again. I want to try and get Gilman in there. Go down, go down. Good. All right, so we couldn't get Gilman in there. But it's all right. We're going to try and make young guy throw the ball and get us a touchdown. That's what we want to see. We want to see him make a good decision. All right. And he's got it. Look at that throw. There we go. Why can't you do that earlier? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out the Reddit. Check out McDowell's stats on Reddit or X. And as always, you guys stay blessed and keep the peace.